In this video, I will show you how to install and activate WP Travel Engine plugin on your website. There are two different ways to install the WP Travel Engine plugin on your website. You can either download it from the internet or you can search for the plugin from your WordPress dashboard. In this video, I will show you both installation methods so that you can choose whatever suits you the most. Now let's get underway. Visit the main website of the WP Travel Engine plugin. I have added the link to our website in the description box below. To download, all you have to do is click on the Try Free button. Now you have to fill in the details like email address, first name and last name. Then you have to click on Download Now button. After you click on the Download Now button, within a few seconds, a WP Travel Engine zip file gets sent to your provided email address. You can later download the file to your PC from there and you will also get a link to download the file as soon as you click on the Download Now button. Now you have to log in to your WordPress admin dashboard. I have logged into my WordPress dashboard. Now navigate to Plugins, click on Add New. Click on Upload Plugin, click on Choose File. Then you have to select the zip file of the plugin that you downloaded a while ago. Click on Open or you can also drag and drop the file. After that, you have to click on Install Now, then you have to click on Activate. This was the first method, the second method is even simpler. Just type WP Travel Engine in the search bar to search your plugin. As soon as it appears on your search results, you have to click on Install Now. Now, activate the button to activate the plugin. The plugin has now been successfully installed and activated. Once the plugin is activated, you will be redirected to this current page. If you are a first-time user, this page will guide you through various basic configurations to make your site WP Travel Engine ready. Let me quickly walk you through these settings one by one. As you can see, there are five different configurable tabs here. To configure them, you have to click on Let's Get Started button or if you want to return to Dashboard, you can click on Return to Dashboard link. The first setting is Currency. You can configure various options here, such as types of currency your business supports, currency symbol or code to display, and thousand separator for currency. Click on Continue. Next is the email settings. You can configure if you want to send the sales notification email to admin or send an inquiry notification email to use and custom emails. You can enable or disable the toggles as per your need. Next is the pages settings. You can set the various pages for checkout page, terms and conditions, thank you page, purchase confirmation pages and so on from here. Next is the payment settings. You can configure payment gateway options from here. The first field is Book Now Pay Later. If you enable this option, your customers will be able to book your trip without making any payments. The customers can pay later for the trip they booked. You can also enable the PayPal option. After you insert the PayPal email or ID, you are ready to go. Click on Continue. After you complete the configuration, you can either start creating a new trip by clicking on the button here or you can return back to the dashboard with the help of the link here. We will create our very first trip in the next video. So for now, let's return to dashboard with the help of this link. You will also see a link that says complete WP Travel Engine travel and tour booking plugin activation now. If you click on this link, Click on Allow and Continue. 
you will get various global settings to configure your trip. We will go through these settings one by one after we have finished creating our very first trip. So for now, let's go back to Dashboard Home. After you install and activate the WP Travel Engine plugin on your WordPress, you get a whole new menu of the plugin on the left sidebar. As you can see, there are a lot of options under the WP Travel Engine menu using which you can manage your trip bookings and inquiries. Besides, you get a different trip section through which you can add new trips as well as define their types, pricing and so on. We will keep on exploring these features in the upcoming videos. Therefore, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates and notifications. So that was it. If you have any questions or confusions, please do let me know in the comment section below. You can also directly reach out to our support team with the help of the link I have added in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.